Well, thank you, and uh, thank you for the kind words you said. We have a long way to, to go to do a fantastic <laughs> job, but I'll take the compliment. No, I think that Africa and Nigeria, we actually have a lot of opportunities and attributes in order to improve our trade. Africa's share of world trade has stagnated at about 3% or less for many years, but the opportunities to improve that, including in Nigeria, let me start with Nigeria. Nigeria does have many opportunities to diversify its economy and its revenue source. And uh, we were here with, at, from the WTO because there's an opportunity to help the country increase its exports of agricultural products. And the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment asked for help. How can we improve the quality of agricultural products like cowpeas and sesame street, uh, uh, seeds, where we stand to gain not millions, but billions of dollars, if we can meet the quality and certification standards being demanded by those who import from us. Mm. So the WTO has the ability with small amounts of money. We, we are not a financing agency, but we have small amounts, one million, two million, three million, and they can leverage billions because with that we build the capacity of extension workers, of farmers, of agribusiness people. What amount of pesticides do you use? How do you make sure that you meet sanitary and phytosanitary standards so that the people you're selling to, they have certain standards, you meet them. We are able to do that training and then you see that people are able to sell more and farmers can triple their income. We worked with share butter producers in Oyo State and the women were so excited when I met them two years ago, telling me how they tripled their income from being able to sell to the EU, to South Africa, to US, where they were not able to. Some of them are still struggling. We are still trying to work with them. Mm -hmm. The same now with, share, uh, with uh, Sesame Seed, Seed and Copy. So that's one. I'm just giving you one example. Yeah of how to improve goods trade. Nigeria also has a wonderful services potential. What do I mean by that? We have a great entertainment sector, and we're ma making waves all over the world. When I was a minister of finance, we rebased the economy and found that that sector, which was not even featuring in our GDP, after the rebasing of GDP after 23 years, was now 1%, which is very significant. I'm sure it's more now. So, and it creates lots of jobs for young people. So supporting the sector, you know, the artists, the fashion designers, you know, we can capture the world. Our women are fantastic designers. We can, we can clothe the whole of Africa if we want to, but we are not seizing that opportunity in a very systematic way. That's why we want to support women in digital trade, because we, we found that women can now sell online. You don't have to now have a big store somewhere in a country. You can stay right here in Nigeria and get online, open your uh, website, and people will be ordering and you'll be making money. We are raising a $50 million fund to support women in developing countries who are trading digitally so that they can expand, they can scale, they can get access to more finance, we can get them access to markets, we can train them together with our sister agency, the International Trade Center, which is an offshoot of the WTO. So I'm giving you some examples of potential. Let me give you one more. Right now, there are many supply chains and value chains in the world that want to diversify their manufacturing away from China and some other countries where they're concentrated. Because during the pandemic, the world found that it was very vulnerable to uh, dependence on certain countries and certain geographies for products. You saw what happened with vaccines. So we started to set the WTO. We developed a new concept called re-globalization. Why don't we try to encourage supply chains? They want to diversify. They can diversify into Africa. We too can manufacture pharmaceuticals here instead of having to import 80% of, of our pharma, 90% of our pharmaceuticals, 95% of our vaccines and more. Let's produce them here. Other manufactured goods, they can be diversified here to help the world build resilience mm -hmm. whilst at the same time helping Africa add value to its products and trade more. Sorry, you, you, you've been advocating this uh, manufacturing of vaccines within Nigeria. There's another advocacy you've carried on as well, the shipment, illegal shipping from China and all of some other countries into Africa and Nigeria. But how is that going, that advocacy? Um, 
about uh, I've been we've been advocating we're talking about the manufacture of vaccines and other products as well pharmaceuticals is one chain critical minerals is another where we can add value on the legal what we are talking about is illegal fishing of our waters not shipping but fishing yes so we have a fisheries subsidies agreement where we negotiated a way $22 billion in harmful fishery subsidies that leads to illegal fishing of our waters. 12 million people in Africa depend on fisheries for a livelihood. We are losing $5 billion from illegal fishing and overfishing of our waters. And you know, we have big subsidizers who are doing this. So we now have part one of an agreement at the WTO and we're negotiating part two. So that's what I was talking about. And it's, it's, we need to ratify the first agreement. We need 110 countries to ratify it, then it will come into effect. We are at 71 countries now. So I think we'll make it this year. So about the, the vaccine manufacturing, how would that work? How quickly can Nigeria and Africa indeed key into that? Seeing that COVID is come and gone. Yeah. But who says we might not have another pandemic around the corner? Absolutely. And it's not just COVID. There are vaccines. You know, we have the mRNA vaccines now that can be used not just for COVID, but for ca cancer, but for other things. We now have the malaria vaccine. Actually, I think it's happening. I think that, uh, you know, the Minister of Health here is looking at how to attract the pharmaceutical manufacturing uh, uh, into the country mm -hmm. and to start actually not just to attract, you know, in a couple of days, there'll be a, a, a factory in Kaduna that is manufacturing va um, liquid, um, what do you call it, uh, um, IV. IV fluids, but they also want to go into manufacturing of vaccines and other things. So in Nigeria, we have investors, Nigerian uh, investors who are going into it, others who want to come in. So I think it's very feasible and doable, and we should do it because we're 220 million people and we should, we have a large market. Thank you so much, man. Okay, thank you.